Well, um, I'm a bit nervous. Nervous as fuck, actually. Uh, I hope that doesn't impair my presentation too much. Uh, I was going to talk a little bit about Kometen and the things that I made for it. I made the uh, drawings and stuff. Uh, but first of all, I want to explore my navel a little bit. I'm sure that means more to the Swedish people than to the English-speaking ones. Uh, I'm going to talk, talk a little bit about uh, art, actually, since uh, my main occupation, I don't know, my main uh, thing that I do during the days is painting, uh, large paintings. Like, art is something uh, that I really love doing, uh, and I want to explore ways to like use video games as another medium than just a canvas and colors. Um, to start off with like art, wh what is art? Uh, this guy in Sweden called Ans Birgren um, had uh, an answer to the question what is art and his answer was it's a question. Uh, which basically means that you kind of need to either invoke a question in the viewer or ask the viewer some kind of question to uh, to make um, some kind of connection. Like uh, another Swedish, art, Swedish artist, Eva Dahlgren, once said that uh, where words can exist, music is created. Uh, and that kind of roughly translates to all sorts of art. Like, there's a communication going on uh, where you can't like use words anymore. Uh, and that's what Ernst Bilger meant when he said that art is a question. To like have a relationship with something or someone, you have to interact with each other. And asking questions is one way to do it. Um, um, and there's also this, why can't like video games be art? I mean, uh, I'm not going to talk much about that, but I read one thing at the Penny Arcade site, uh, and they said like, if a hundred guys and girls make art for like three years, how can it not be art? Well, I don't know, uh, we can take like this for example. Uh, this took, I don't know, like three or four years, and a hundred people worked on it, basically, a hundred artists, and uh, this is what they came out with, which kind of means that just because you're an artist and you're trying to make art don't mean that it necessarily needs to be that. And then again, talking about art kind of makes people a bit angry and fizzy and, you know, everybody wants to have an opinion. And of course, everyone is entitled to their opinion, but just as with genus science, like when you science, uh, when you um, forsker, research, research uh, about uh, masculinity and femininity, uh, uh, everybody feels like they have a, an opinion on the subject just because they're a man and a woman, but they don't really know anything about the science. Which is kind of, you can kind of translate that into art as well, I think. Everybody can watch art and take it to themselves and view this in the eye of, of the beholder and all that. Um, but it's something you have to practice as well, like delve into it to kind of get something back from it. You have to give to get something back. Uh, like everyone can walk in a gallery and think, so, a, like a pretty picture and, and so back and so forth like the nature can be a pretty picture you can go walk into the forest and feel that it's very good looking but you don't really label that shit as art do you uh, basically because well um, shit I lost myself there uh, you kind of have to uh, get something from it. I don't know. I've kind of lost myself there. That's the thing about art. It's very... Well, okay, for example, um, 
taking a crap is not art, but if you take that shit and you <laughs> showcase it and like with a message or meaning like this is my inner shit man <laughs> from inside you know this is all the torment I have uh, then all of a sudden it becomes art probably because there's actually some kind of communication going on someone wants to tell you something and maybe you can get something back from it this uh, leads us to oh sorry <laughs> Um, the game Kometen. Uh, we kind of wanted to do something that didn't have any goals or didn't have any, uh, well, not any set goals or uh, challenges. Like you had to create those goals and challenges for yourself. And to do that, you would probably need to care or like have some kind of abstract need to interact with the uh, uh, creation at hand. Um, and for that to happen, I personally felt that you had to make a relationship with, with Kometen to actually like want to talk to the game. Uh, and therefore, we need, I needed, I think we needed to establish a communication with the player. Uh, so, it was needed f for the atmosphere to really work with the player. I, of course, you can't communicate with everybody. I mean, like, some people like that I like to say fuck and shit a lot, and some people, like my parents, for example, don't like that so much. Uh, so, if you like Komet, then you kind of like, I, I guess then you would tune in with me and Eric because we put a lot of our thoughts and considerations uh, and philosophies into that game. And so uh, we, we needed to create something that could like communicate with the player. Uh, so we felt that we had those planets that you could uh, find in space, the space which you explored, and they would be like pretty artworks. Uh, and at first it was really shallow because this is what I came up with and I don't really know it, 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 like it wasn't really anything it was just this was just pretty colors and shapes and it didn't really work out it was like kind of like boring you found it and then then you didn't really have any need to go back to it so um, I kind of went back to the drawing board and thought about what I said at the beginning of the presentation uh, and from that, I kind of felt that, hey, well, I need to work on establishing that communication with the, with the player. And by doing that, I need to talk and share my philosophies and thoughts about the world. So I kind of started with doing this. Uh, and this one is called Lurking. And there's something lurking beneath the surface. And one thing that I've learned in my life is that even if shit looks pretty, uh, there's usually, there might be like, in, in the calmest of waters, uh, one needs to take like great care, thread lightly into the darkness. Uh, and, and that was like, it didn't have much meaning to it, perhaps, but it was, it was like, a, it was a start at least. Uh, and then it kind of moved on. Uh, to this one sad end which is kind of like a sad end for the little pig because if you look over here maybe his caretaker has died or something and now he's all alone <laughs> <laughs> and kind of I wanted to try and make the viewer to ponder what would like happen if you lose someone close or dear to you and, and, and contemplate on that. Uh, I know it's not that precise or anything, but uh, hey, I'm, I, I'm a young artist, I still need to practice my profession uh, and my sim 